Okay, we continue with uh, the International A-Level Statistics S2 paper from January 2024, and this is question number four. Uh, the continuous random variable G has a probability density function F of G given by uh, the following formula, uh, where F of G is 1 over 15 uh, brackets G plus 3, uh, where G is in between minus 1 and 2 and uh, 3 over 20 where g is in between 2 and 4 uh, and 0 otherwise part a sketch the graph of f of g so to sketch the graph of f of g we notice uh, from the expression for uh, the function f of g that uh, for g in between minus 1 and 2 f of g is 1 over 15 brackets g plus 3. So that means that uh, f of minus 1, which is uh, one of the endpoints, uh, is 1 over 15 minus 1 at 3, which gives us uh, 2 over 15. So for minus 1, uh, we are at 2 over 15. Let's say uh, this is 2 over 15. And so from this point, and uh, f of 2 is going to be 1 over 15. 2 add 3, which is 5 over 15, which is 1 third. So um, it goes up to, uh, this is 1, and this is 2, and at 2 it goes up to 1 third. So let's say here is 1 third. So we get the rising straight line from minus 1 to 2. Then um, for g in between 2 and 4, we have f of g equals 3 over 20, and that's just a constant uh, function, so that gives us a straight horizontal line uh, at 3 over 20. So let's say uh, 3 over 20 is here, 3 over 20, and that goes from 2 to 4. That's 3, and that's 4. So from 2 to 4, it goes a horizontal straight line. So that's the graph. Uh, that we get for f of x. Okay, we're going to use this graph in part b. Part b, find the probability, uh, which is a condition of probability, uh, that 2g is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 6, given that g is less than or equal to 2. So we recall that the condition of probability of a given b is probability of A intersection B over probability of B. So we're going to use that formula and therefore um, for the condition of probability we'll get probability of the intersection which is the intersection of the two intervals um, 2G greater than or equal to 1, less than or equal to 6, intersection with G less than or equal to 2, all over probability of G less than or equal to 2. And uh, since we have 2G, um, we're going to divide uh, uh, the first interval by 2. So we get probability of g uh, greater than or equal to 1 over 2, less than or equal to 3, intersection with 
g less than or equal to 2 over probability of g less than or equal to 2. And we can see that uh, the intersection of uh, the two intervals uh, in the numerator is going to be uh, the interval g greater than or equal to 1 over 2 and less than or equal to 2 and the denominator is probability of g less than or equal to 2 so uh, we have the graph uh, from part A that we're going to use in order to find this probability. And uh, the probability is going to be uh, the area under the graph, as we know. Uh, so for the numerator, probability of g greater than or equal to 1 over 2 less than or equal to 2 is going to be the area uh, under the graph between uh, 1 over 2 here and 2 so at 1 over 2 we go up to here and at 2 we go up to 1 third so um, when we are at 2 we know that uh, the value of um, f is going to be 1 third and uh, we can use the um, g value one half and plug it into f of g and we get uh, using 1 over 15 uh, brackets g plus 3 we'll get 7 over 30 here so uh, the area under the graph is the area of the trapezium which is one half times 1.5 which is the height times the sum of the two parallel sides which are uh, 7 over 30 plus 1 over 3 and that gives us 0 0.425 uh, for the denominator probability of g less than or equal to 2 uh, so probability of g less than or equal to 2 is the same as the, the total area which is 1 which is the total probability uh, it's 1 take away probability of uh, g between 2 and 4 so oh, we don't have equality here so um, and according to this, uh, we are looking at this area here, probability of uh, g between 2 and 4, which is the area of the rectangle. So therefore, this is 1 minus the area of the rectangle, which is 2 times uh, the height of the rectangle is... 3 over 20 and that gives us 0 0.7 therefore the final answer uh, is uh, which is the probability of 2g between uh, or greater than or equal to 1 less than or equal to 6 given uh, that g is less than or equal to 2 is uh, 0 0.425 over 0 0.7 and on the calculator we get 17 over 28 or in decimal that's 0 0.607 to three significant figures Part C. The continuous random variable h is uh, such that uh, e of h is 12 and uh, var h is 2.4. Find uh, e of 2h squared plus 3g plus 3, where g is given in part a. 
So, we know that uh, E of 2H squared plus 3G plus 3 can be written as um, E of 2H squared plus uh, E of 3G plus 3, which then can be written as 2 E of H squared plus 3 E of G plus 3. So, uh, to calculate uh, E of H squared, we know from the equation uh, from the equation var h equals e of h squared minus e of h squared that e of h squared is var h minus e of h squared and we have both of these values e of h and var h given in the question therefore e of h squared is going to be um, 2.4 um, sorry this is plus here um, 2.4 plus 12 squared and that gives us 146.4 on the calculator. Um, so, uh, we now need to calculate uh, E of G. So, to calculate E of G, We know that that's integral from minus infinity to infinity of g f of g dg. But uh, for g, uh, we are uh, going to be bounded by minus one to two. So we uh, take the uh, we uh, calculate the integral from minus one to two of g times f of g which is one fifth for that interval uh, is one fifth g plus three dg and the interval two to four um, g times f of g for that particular interval uh, from two to four which is 320th dg. Uh, so this integral is going to be integral from minus 1 to 2 1 over 15 g uh, squared plus 3g dg plus integral from 2 to 4 3 over 20 g dg so we then calculate the integral and uh, that gives us 1 over 15 1 third g cubed plus 3 half g squared from one from minus 1 to 2 plus 3 over 40 g squared from 2 to 4 
that is then going to be equal to one over fifteen eight over three plus twelve over two minus minus one third plus three over two plus forty eight over forty minus twelve over forty and uh, that gives us the answer of 1.4 from the calculator so now we have e of h squared and e of g then finally the answer to e of uh, 2h squared plus 3g plus 3 is going to be uh, 2 times 146.4 plus 3 times 1.4 plus 3 which gives us 300.